Hey everybody, it's me, Guru Gamanarino. It is Wednesday, August 7, 2019. And yet again, we really honestly have to talk here, people. Let me start off with this. At the open, the Dow Jones Industrial Average erased yesterday's 330 point gain uh, in the blink of an eye. Uh, and as I am doing this video blog, stocks are down, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, over 400. I would not be surprised to see the stock market drop lower. I could be wrong. Let's see. Let's talk about what's going on here. As I explained to you yesterday uh, in the first video I did in the morning, the risk here in this market is significantly to the downside. Uh, I, I can't overstress that here, uh, and I can imagine a lot of effort is going to be made to re-prop up stocks. Let's talk about that real quick. Cause again, I have a lot of stuff I want to talk to you about. This morning, uh, pre-market, the president um, made an announcement. He was tweeting that he believes that the Federal Reserve should start cutting rates aggressively. Now. What I don't understand, and maybe you can explain this to me, uh, so our president wants us to believe that our economy is booming and we are firing on all cylinders, so why all the now what appear to me as desperate calls for an aggressive Fed to institute not just deeper rate cuts, but he's calling for a weaker dollar, and again, just a few months ago, he actually said more quantitative easing, which is coming. I explained this to you yesterday. So something isn't adding up here. Uh, our, our economy is booming, best it's ever been, Mr. President, but you want the Fed to cut rates aggressively here? Why is this not balancing out, everyone? Uh, obviously, look, our president is not a stupid man. He thinks you're stupid. That's the difference here. Uh, and he is he's really playing on that. Uh, he, he, he understands that very few people really have a handle on the dynamics behind this market, what's driving it, what's really happening in the economy, because the more times a lie is told, the more real it becomes, just like how he keeps talking about the, that we're taking in billions from China. We're not. I explained this to you. It's so simple. The math is so easy. <laughs> Trade gap. We're losing 180 billion. We are taking in, okay, we'll give the president some credit, just under 60 billion in the tariffs, but net net, we're losing hundreds of billions. You can't make it up, but again, the president is not stupid. He thinks you are, and you're not stupid, and that gets under my skin. Not one of you that follow this blog is stupid. I'd be willing to bet you're all smarter than the president is. How's that? Um, Anyone that believes that they are smarter than everyone else is the stupidest of them all. And I, I tell you all the time, I don't know everything. I have, I just come out here and I lay things out for you in a way I, uh, that they are, and you make your, up your own decisions. Now, speaking of that, so look, let's summarize thus far. Stocks are getting hammered down about 400, a little, little over 400 points as I am doing this video blog. Who knows what's going to happen moving forward here, but the risk remains to the downside. Now, I explained to you that we both, that we, all of us, are on 2 to 10 inversion watch. I want you to look at what's going on in the bond market right now. Two year, 1.51, 10 year, 1.618. Now, so if you do a little bit of math here, you will see that we are under 10 basis points. There is less than a 10 basis point spread between the two and the 10 year bond. Now look, this is the big number everyone lo looks at. I've been explaining to you literally since time immemorial that we've had an inverted curve. They tried to cover it up. Do you remember that whole charade? Oh, the yield curve's not inverted because the two tens not inverted. <laughs> Meanwhile, the whole thing is upside down. But this is what they do because they think you're stupid. I know you're not stupid, okay? So you have to understand what's going on. Our president, who is not a stupid man, he is not stupid. He thinks you're stupid. Remember that. He realizes that our economy is in free fall, absolute free fall. Every indicator that you want to look at 
is pointing towards the negative. And yesterday, Larry Kudlow, when he was paraded out on CNBC, he was trying to spin this every which way he could. And then what happened? Larry Summers came out and said Larry Kudlow was a liar on international television. I mean, come on. I mean, the truth is there. But these people believe you're stupid. They really do. And that gets, Again, it bothers me like you have no idea because you're not stupid. All right. So... As the the spread between the 2 to 10 continues to narrow, and it will, I mean it's going to move around a little bit, but the trajectory is for that to get narrow and invert. This is going to get attention on the, the financial channels and stocks are going to fall under more pressure here. What other ramifications are we seeing? Gold, much higher. Silver, much higher. And would you guess cryptocurrencies like this guy has been explaining you should be holding? I know a lot of you don't like it, but it doesn't matter what it even is. You could call it... <laughs> whatever language I just spoke in, and it's, a, it's an asset that is going up in value. So ha 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 is an asset that's going up in values with regard to being priced in dollars at this point, okay? So simple. I don't care what you want to call it. It's an asset that is making people money. So if you want to sit there and not let it work for you, well, that's okay too. But you should absolutely, beyond belief, be holding hard assets. Gold, silver, more specifically silver, bet against the dollar. Bet against the dollar. This is how you take the opposite side of the trade by holding a hard asset. This is how you bet against the debt because they're going to inflate this beyond your freaking eyeballs, which it already is there. This is where we are at. And you're going to hear more desperate talk from not just the president, from other people too, especially CEOs of major corporations. They want lower rates. They want a weaker dollar. It helps corporate America. It destroys the middle class who's been subsidizing this fake stock market right now for over an entire decade with no relief in sight. It's unbelievable what we're seeing here, people. We don't have one politician that's on our side. It's a shame. Uh, and I explained to you what the president can do right now. Mr. President, please stop thinking about yourself for a moment. Stop thinking about the military industrial complex, stop thinking about corporate America, think about the people here. If you were to do what I outlined in a recent video, uh, clear present and immediate danger, Mr. President, I hope it made it to your desk or you're going to ignore it, you would win. You would win for everyone. The people of the world would win and you would stop China right in its tracks, but you won't do it. You won't do it because you have to make sure that the stock market stays inflated, corporate America makes more money. The military industrial complex gets stronger, the Federal Reserve gets stronger, and we all lose. Why are you doing this to us, Mr. President? Why? I don't understand it uh, unless you really don't care. And that's what it seems like is going on here. And I believe sincerely people watch, mark my words, today, tomorrow, the next day, you're going to hear the President calling for deeper, more aggressive rate cuts, a weaker dollar. You're going to probably hear him actually say more quantitative easing. But our economy is supposedly booming. Something does not add up here. We're not that freaking stupid, Mr. President. I know you believe we are. But believe me, if you think you're smarter than we are, Mr. President, you got another thing coming. I can promise you, you're not smarter than me. Anyway, um, with that said, people, let's keep our eye on this. Market's under pressure. Let's see what the stock market is doing right now. I'm going to check it in real time. All right, we're down almost 500 points now, 494. So we dropped further since I did this video. Let's watch this. Let's watch that 2 to 10 spread. That's the big one here. And that doesn't mean, again, let me put another perspective on this or a little more. Because I am explaining to you that there's the 2 to 10 bond yield is narrowing, less than 10 basis points, when it, when it inverts, that does not mean, because I know this is going to get twisted, does not mean that stocks are going to melt down at that moment. If history is a guide, and I always like to look at history as a guide, there is still going to be a lag time here, people. So now, right now is the time for you to think about how you want to position yourself for what's coming down the pike. You still have time, but don't count on it lasting much longer. That's all I have to say. Start pondering. Start thinking. Don't be distracted by this, that, and the other thing. Focus on what's important to you, your family. Use your own intellect, okay? Don't even listen to me. 
Honestly, don't even listen to what I'm saying. But if what I'm saying makes sense to you, after you think about it, well then act. If, if what I'm saying to you makes no sense at all, well then ignore Greg Manorino. That's all I have to say. Don't take anyone's word for a damn thing until you research it for yourself, until you understand what's going on. It's not that hard, all right? And that's really what I'm trying to do. Make it as basic and simple as humanly possible for everyone. Uh, all right, with that said, people, I'm going to let you go. Please share this video. Get it out here. Uh, and again, keep your eyes open for more desperate cries for help uh, as our economy melts down. In, in the environment of lies that we are in, it's really the truth here. Um, it's awful. It's awful watching this unfold. All right, with that said, I do love all of you. I'll see you later. I'm out of here.